I got a phone call. It was from the police in St. Louis that they had her car, and her car was owned by me. So they called me. You know, I, I immediately said, oh, that's Rafaela. She must be missing. And they immediately started searching for her. When she was found missing, we did not, of course, believe that she could have died. My husband and I jumped in our car and drove to St. Louis. We were hoping to find her. And, um, yeah. When we had the funeral, the outpouring of love was so strong, and I was just so touched by that and so touched by their grief. I wanted to do something in her honor, in her memory. I was laying in bed thinking about Rafaela's life, and I said to Duncan, Rafaela's life is like a ballet. She became what she loved. She, her life became a tragic ballet. And Duncan said, that's it, I'll do a ballet. What Rafaela really loved was classical ballets. She liked fairy tales. She loved the classic music. What better could you do for a little girl who loved ballet and wanted to marry a prince, but to do a new ballet that would talk about marrying a prince that was a new fairy tale. But we wanted a totally brand new story, new music, all new classical music and new choreography the kind of stuff that would happen in Giselle, Sleeping Beauty, Swan Lake, The Nutcracker, and that people of all stripes could like. You don't have to be a ballet aficionado to like this ballet. The story for Raffaella weaves in different parts of her life, but at the same time, it's also a fairy tale. So it, it transcends the here and the now, and hopefully it'll be this timeless tale that's performed again and again in theaters and in ballet companies throughout the world. The story about Raffaella really moved me, and I knew immediately that this was something I, I should really do and contribute to because it was going to be important. Knowing that it's personal to someone's life, someone who I knew, it's really beautiful because there are so many small little details in this ballet that some people might not catch, but every single part has something to do with Rafi's life. Every artist that is a part of this production feels the great responsibility to work really hard to bring the joy that Rafaela Stroik had to life in this ballet. I remember how bright and beautiful and angelic uh, Rafi was growing up and I'm trying my very best to get that across and get that out in the story because that was such a strong quality that she had. Rafaela's motto was beauty will save the world and the world needs beauty and simply to have imparted to people I just saw something beautiful that moved my heart and uplifted in me and made me feel happy. That is enough. It doesn't have to be earth-shakingly profound and, and philosophical. It just has to be beautiful. I'm just, uh, at this moment, uh, grateful that people will come to the ballet and we can have a moment to remember Rafaela, to enjoy a ballet together on a summer night in South Bend. This was really our thanks to everyone who, who have shown such support for Rafaela and her life and who miss her. And hopefully they can come and just be so pleased at what she's done in her life and, and how much she loves them. Something that blows my mind is what has come from the great love of two parents for their daughter, specifically the great love that uh, Duncan and Ruth have for their daughter, Rafaela, and to see how they are both honoring her life and then giving greatly to the community of South Bend and I think beyond 
by bringing together this fantastic array of talented artists and for making something that will continue to be shared, hopefully and throughout the rest of the world, for ages to come.